What a bright day, right away from Premier Lawn. Today we're going to be leveling out this bumpy lawn. So, stick around. So at the minute we're doing the hollow core aeration, just in the background. This is the start of the renovation project and we'll do this to let the air and water and light down into the roots and it'll also help get the seeds right down into the soil. We're actually going to be top dressing this lawn with 100% soil today because we want to match up what's here. This is Daniel Scarface's the lawn. Let's have a look at the thatch. Now this is only a single pasture to this lawn. There's a lot of moss and there's a lot of dead growth. So we're going to be really hard on it and we're going to try and pull out a lot of dead grass and a lot of moss. And then we're going to get the seeds out and then we're going to top dress it. So. Daniel's just gone over the a third time. We don't usually do three times, but just the fact that we're going to be put on a, a good dose of top dressing, I feel we're it's, I'm comfortable enough doing that. Usually, usually I wouldn't do it three times. I'm always asked what type of rake I prefer for the scar fan. I really like these rakes here. Now, the way they shape of them, they're actually designed that. You keep your back straight whenever you're using them, and these actually flick the grass along. So, if you want to get one of these rakes, I'll leave a link down in this video description. If you're enjoying this video, make sure that you hit that like button. Just go ahead and smash it down there. Subscribe for more tips like this. I post regular lawn care tips and tricks and bringing your lawn to the next level. Again, just smash that like button because it really helps me out and it helps me grow my channel. All right guys, so today we're going to be using male favourite. This is the ryegrass and this perennial ryegrass and fescue. Nice grass seed, provides a good bit of colour into the lawn. Now there's no point putting like a, an ornamental seed into this lawn because a lot of the, the grasses already in here are all thick grasses. So if you put a lot of fine grasses in you wouldn't see, but this stuff here is a really good hard wearing grass seed and it's going to match and complement the grasses that's already in this lawn. So I have young Daniel on the shovel top dressing the lawn. The only way you can learn to do a job like this is by doing it yourself. So I'm actually laboring for Daniel now. Daniel's just finishing off the last of the top dressing. 
I'd say one of the most important things in top dressing, apart from getting a nice even surface with the soil, is actually letting it dry. So whenever he finishes that, we're gonna go and get a cup of tea. So I've had a cup of tea, Daniel's just matting this in. Drag mat's a tool that we use. It just pulls, it pulls all the material, pulls all the seed down into the holes. Does a really good job and it helps level out the lawn. Now, I much prefer this here. This, this method here is much quicker than a lute. I see a lot of guys using lutes these days. I find lutes very hard work. They're okay if you have a lot of undulations in the ground, but for, we're just looking to top up any sort of low areas. So just going round and round with the drag mat, that's going to really pull in all the soil and really level out the lawn. Right, okay, so unfortunately one of those bags of soil had a lot of stones in it, so at the minute we're just giving it a quick rake off to get rid of them. We don't want to leave these lying on the lawn. All right guys, so at the minute there, Daniel's just putting out this stuff here, the CMS shit.